Okay, we're back to the door form this week. As we talked about last week, I've been working on the hinges, and one of the things that's been bugging me is the M19 hinges. The door form had a few problems with this, and I just wanted to get it cleaned up. So if you look here, I've got a door schedule, and basically I have uh, four pairs of doors. They're all the standard hardware group here, WW standard pair. But I've got different heights, 84, 92, 122, and 152. So I'm going to take my hardware schedule, and I'm going to add the M19 pivot, this one here. So now this hardware schedule has an M19 pivot on it. So I've got three, four different door heights with one hardware schedule, and I want it to come out so I have the right number of pivots and the right locations based on that. So I'm going to export the door form to Excel. Put it in my uh, my documents folder. So this is creating the door schedule that we use for submittal. Open this up. So this is my 84 inch door. And as you can see here, I get two Rixon M19. So there's one on each leaf and they're 39 and a half inches from the uh, bottom of header to top of cutout. This door is 122, so I'm getting three pivots per leaf over 10 feet, and I've got my three locations there. This door is 92 inches, um, so I'm getting two pivots per leaf, and you can see my locations here. So the schedule is actually adjusting automatically on the door form depending on the height of the door, so I can have one hardware group and it'll automatically adjust the quantity and the locations of the pivots based on the height of the door. So that was the first problem I was running into is I didn't want to have to make separate hardware groups because you can never tell um, what height your doors are going to be. I wanted it to be sort of independent of the door height and so we got that working. So the second problem I was running into is when we would have an electrified pivot. So I'm going to come back to my hardware schedule and now I'm going to add a EM19, and I'm going to put it on the active leaf. So now I've got an EM19 on my active leaf. Again, I'm going to export my door form to Excel. Just going to output the Excel form. Open that up. So this is my 84 inch door, and now I'm getting one Rixon EM19 and one regular Rixon M19, and I've got the single location. On my 92 inch door, there's four pivots total, so I'm getting three Rixon M19s and one Rixon EM19 on the active leaf. And then again on my 122 inch door, I've got three per leaf, so I've got one Rixon EM19 and five Rixon M19s. So this is automatically adjusting the quantity of Rixon M19s and also adjusting for that one EM19 so that we don't end up with a doubling up on that M19 pivot. The other nice part about this is, is in the takeoff program, we can now export the um, actual hardware summary, which is what we ordered the hardware from, and that will also automatically adjust the quantities and the handing of the M19s and EM19s so we order the correct amount. So this has been bugging me for a while. It took a little while to figure out, but uh, we got it done. And now uh, we won't have any problems with those when we export the door forms from now on. That's my improvement for the week. Thanks.